I am en route to a brothel. Not just any brothel, a brothel in Reno, Nevada, that prides itself on being like the creme de la creme. Prostitution is considered one of the most controversial professions in the world and is illegal in 49 out of the 50 US states. One thing I can't imagine doing is having sex if there was zero attraction. I, I, would, I would really struggle with that. I've been given the rare opportunity to stay in a place that couldn't exist in the UK. One of Nevada's oldest legal brothels, the Mustang Ranch. I think what's going to make this weekend quite different is they're not a family, right? So I'm not staying in a family home. I'm staying with the girls because they all live here. They will hang out together, they'll have meals together, I'm presuming. Yeah, desperate to see how that all plays out. According to the owners, this is the only legal brothel in the US run by two former working women. And I want to find out if places like this should exist as a solution to the dangers sex workers face. But first, I need to get through security. Hiya! Um, we're here to see Madam Jennifer and Tara. OK, sounds good. I'll let her come in. Thank you. No see ya! There'd be lots of men in Nevada who feel very jealous of what I'm about to walk into. Oh, here they are. Oh, they're all dressed up. Hi, ladies. I'm How Stacey. Are you? Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, welcome. You look lovely. Hi. Hi. And I should call you Madam or Jennifer and Tara. Like, what do the girls call you? Uh, Madam Jennifer. Okay. Madam Tara. Fine. <laughs> it's okay. that easy. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah, we'll get your bag. Joe, do you copy Joe? Go for Joe. Say, can you come out and help us with the luggage, sir? Hey, Joe, Joe. <laughs> Joe is our head of security, head of surveillance. One of 10 security guards working at the ranch, Joe and his team watch over the women 24-7. I'm yes. Stacey. Yes, this is Stacy. Nice to meet yeah. you. Likewise. If you'll grab her bag. Yes. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. I never normally have this level of service, so oh. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Rolling out the red carpet I for you. <laughs> you smell delightful. Aww. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Feels good to be here. Hi. These are the ladies. Ladies. Hi. Hi. Nola, nice, nice to meet you. you. Likewise, I'm Stacey. Yes. And this is Scarlett. Hi. And this is Darcy. Darcy. Yeah. Stacey. This is Jean Grey. Yes. yes. Lovely to meet you too. Yeah. Referred to here as courtesans, women on shift wait in the bar to charm potential clients. So at the minute we've got two clients yes. in the mm -hmm. bar area. Yes. Yep. But I guess you guys, what, you're open 24 hours. Yes, we are. 365 days a year. There's not even a lock on this door. Ever. Ever. Um, can I have a nose around? Let's yes. go look around. Absolutely. Girls, thank you so much. Nice to see you. I'll see you again. Thank I'm sure. You. Thank you. And this is our parlor. Great. Other merchandise. I'm loving the merch. Best bang for your buck. Yes. And no one rides no one for rides free. For free. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you two are courtesans? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you still work or are you just no. the madams now? No, we're just madams. We've done. And this is Erica Lauren. Hi. Oh, you're Stacey. Erica. How are you? Stacey. Nice to meet you. Love yeah. your trousers, Erica. Thank you. I work out outfit. <laughs> you look fantastic. Do you mind me asking? How old you are? Gosh, well, I'm 68. You're 68. I'm 68. Yes. And she's one of the top <laughs> yeah. bookers. Every day, all day yes. long. Booked and busy, Erica. We yeah. love to see it. Oh my, wow. And that could be anything. It could range yeah, anyway. from what? Having a conversation to hardcore anal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we can go up. That's a wide no. range there. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? You're actually correct. But, yeah. Most people fall somewhere in between. OK. Yeah, thank so you ever so much for too. saying hello. Yeah, thank, thank you, you thank Erica. You, Erica. Thank you. Have a good See workout. You. Thank you. <laughs> the ranch books up to 1,000 clients a week, which requires an in-house team of 49 staff, including an on-site medical clinic, housekeeping and catering. This is the restaurant kitchen Hi. area. 
Hello. Jess is our uh, executive Jess chef. Stacey. Stacey. This is Stacy. Yeah. Yep. Nice to meet yeah. you too. And then there's a <laughs> swimming pool. There is. There's Erica. Look. Oh yeah, she's doing her yoga. That is just brilliant. Yeah. I feel like I'm at an all-inclusive holiday resort. Yeah, when we hire the ladies and they say, oh, how should we pack? We, I'd say a two-week sexy vacation. I obviously missed that memo, but don't worry. <laughs> Look at this view. Yeah. We're going to take you to your room. Cab. The brothel is home to a rotating roster of up to 28 women, each staying a minimum of seven days. During their stay, courtesans are given a room to both sleep in and have sex with clients, otherwise known as a party. So this is your beautiful this room. perfect, actually. So this is a working room. Yes. If these walls get dark. I <laughs> can imagine, Zara. I can only imagine. Thank you. You're welcome. Our um, pleasure. We'll brilliant. be out in the parlor area. I know exactly okay. where that is. Awesome. I know exactly where that okay. is. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> First impressions, I am loving Madam Jennifer and Madam Tara. The sole purpose of this room is to service the client. I mean, it might be a bit noisy because I've got girls either side of me. That's the only thing. I should have brought some um, earplugs. I want to find out what life is really like behind the scenes at a legal brothel. Can you just help yourself? Yeah. It's like an open tuck shop. Wow and see if the benefits are all they're cracked up to be. I need all available ladies to the parlor for a lineup, please. Is that a lineup? We have company ladies. Thank you. So this is a lineup, which basically means there's a client and he wants to see who's available. So you I'm going to. Nice to meet you. Okay, here. I can stay here. It's still a popular method of choosing a courtesan. The lineup is a stark reminder that the women are here to sell sex. And these are beautiful ladies that are available. Which lady would you like to talk to? Wow, I've never really experienced anything like that before. Yeah. I would very much like to get to know Dasa a little better. Okay, go ahead and grab her up. Thank you, ladies. Thank Having you. seen the women offer themselves up for selection, I'm desperate to see what kind of a man pays for their company at this establishment. They've given me the passcode. So I'm feeling very at home. And I think I might be in luck. Am I all right to come over? Of course, is that please. Okay? As Erica is dining with one of her regulars. How are you? I'm Stacy. I'm Doug. Nice Hi. to meet you, Doug. Same How's here, things? Stacey. How has your day been? If it was any better, I'd have to be in heaven. <laughs> and Doug, do you mind me asking, what is it that draws you to this place? I live in a small town. I'm kind of well known in the community and I have a choice of having a relationship out of the marriage in town, which will get all over town, mm. or do it here where it's, it's very discreet so I don't hurt my wife and she didn't find out. My wife passed away, by the way, so. I'm sorry I'm to hear single that. now, but we were married 54 years, but it was only the last 12 or 14 that I was coming over here, and she didn't really need the sex anymore, but I didn't want to hurt her in the process. Did she ever suspect, do you think? Not to where, you know, she ever found out about the brothel. Just deny it. <laughs> I am so glad that they have a place like this. So this works well? Yeah. Yeah. And Doug, how was the party? Different. I wasn't up to uh, par. I wasn't up to par. Oh, silly. But it was very good. We had an amazing time. We always do. It's easy to be touchy-feely with him. He has very soft skin. He moisturizes every day from head to toe. I love a man who does this. So pleased to hear that, Erica. You don't want a rough old man. No, you don't. No, <laughs> Erica's such a pro. It might have even been subconscious, but she was sort of trying to reassure him. In a way, it's like theatre. You know, it's a performance. And you must have to master your craft. Having a safe place to buy a professional sex is obviously a bonus to a man like Doug.
but I wonder if the experience is as beneficial for the courtesans. Just outside Reno, Nevada. Imagine if I walked out for the lineup like this. They'd be like, uh. I'm here to find out if a legalised brothel is the solution to the dangers sex workers can face. Maybe I should have brought some heels. Like some kind of geography teacher. <laughs> As widower Doug wraps up his evening with 68-year-old Erica, I'm curious to hear what it's like for one of the highest booking and eldest courtesans at the brothel. <laughs> Erica, I had no idea we were done. We directly are. opposite. We are. You're We're right there. there. Am I right to come in? Oh, please. Thank you. Absolutely. Come um, on in. <laughs> so how was how was the evening for you? Oh, I had a great time. Such a sweet gentleman, and <laughs> I really am coming apart now. <laughs> it's all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Rubbish. You look great. He alluded to the fact that it didn't go swimmingly today. How do you deal with those kinds of situations? Here's the thing. Gentlemen sometimes don't realize this. We don't have any expectations except that we're going to make you happy. So there's a lot of reinsurance that goes on. It's a, really a very loving profession when you really break it down. I can totally see <laughs> how customers are drawn to you. Well, thank you. Because, you know, I'm a little older than most of the girls. But it actually kind of works in my favor a lot of times because there are gentlemen that like to be with someone more close to their own age. You know, maybe things are a little more relatable. It actually works for me. And so you're happy with, with the money that you made today? Oh, absolutely. You know, I just went on a cruise and I'm getting ready to go to Hawaii and then I'm going on another cruise. It's like if it weren't for lovely men like that, I wouldn't have beautiful experiences like I do. <laughs> and so is that you done for the day? I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> I'm taking on my makeup. I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> I am going to go and do my very underwhelming <laughs> nighttime routine. It still works. You look beautiful. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Night. See you then. Good night. <laughs> I am completely obsessed with Erica. I'll be like fighting Doug for her. I mean, it sounds like Doug's a bit of a big spender, but I have to dip into my savings. <laughs> There aren't locks on the doors, which makes perfect sense because if security need to get in here, they can just come on through. Which serves as a reminder that the women and staff here have to be prepared for the dangers their line of work can attract. I wasn't crazy busy last night. I reckon tonight and certainly tomorrow we'll be busy. Right, let's go. Oh, good morning. As I head down to my first breakfast, good morning. Chef, chef. I wonder if the palpable female camaraderie here helps them through what must be a tough job at times. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Look at you, how glam you all are. <laughs> uh, good, 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 yeah. good, actually, yeah. I'm joining Missy, Sarah, Darcy and Scarlett to find out more. So typically what, the girls can just order what they like, help themselves. Yep, whatever they want, they get. I literally, I feel like I'm on holiday. Um, Chef Jeff, please may I get an omelette? Thank you. 26 year old Scarlett has been a legal courtesan for three years. And Scarlett, you had a good night last night. Mm -hmm. Did you manage to party? Yeah, yeah, I did. You're getting the lingo down now. I've got, I've got the lingo. <laughs> How are you, Missy? All right? It's almost bedtime for me. Oh, are you just finishing? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, were you busy last night? A little bit, yeah. I did some dancing. Fuck the hottest guy I've seen in a week. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Missy! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the thing I would really struggle with is if I found them quite repulsive. All these guys need something different, whether it is the wild Mustang Ranch experience or more of a cuddle and intimate and girlfriend experience. Our job is to find something to connect with these gentlemen on, to 
look beyond the, as you say, repulsion. But we get to say no, even if it's in the middle of the party. It's true. If something doesn't feel right, you do have the right to end our time with, with that gentleman. You girls are so empowered here. No, you really can't get that anywhere else. We're so privileged here, so we're aware of that. Yeah, and the madam, <laughs> they support us too. Like, if I'm not okay or something's off, it's over. They're gonna take care of the situation, and so I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Madam Jennifer and Madam Tara are our mentors. We yeah. learn so much from you both. We can talk to them about anything, and that's something that I have never felt, even with my own mom, because I know I, I'm not afraid of judgment and what they're gonna think. Back when we were working ladies, there was a lot of chaos and you didn't have a lot of support. And so that's why Jennifer and I know how we want Mustang. We want it drug free, we want it safe. We know the priorities to put in place for these ladies to keep them safe and happy. Madam Jennifer and Tara's own experience of sex work seems to help them provide an empathic environment for the working women. I'd like to know what else goes into running a legal establishment. Nevada law dictates regular STD and HIV testing, as well as condom use in all brothels. That's backwards. Ah, see, that's why see, we do that's this. That's why we do this. I'm joining some newcomers for their mandatory training. Grab a chair, Yay. come on up. Look at this, wow. This is Chad. Chad's pleasure to meet you. And this is Ellie. Yeah. Nice to meet this you. This is Caitlin. Caitlin. Mm -hmm. And this is Asia. Oh, lovely to meet you all. What's happening, Madam Tara? We're doing a little bit of condom training right now. Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. Do you want to yeah, do it, Asia? It. Condom 101. I can. <laughs> so, Asia, how long have you been in? I've been here for a couple months now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you're fairly mm -hmm. new to the industry. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yeah, she's new. And her birthday is tonight at midnight. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday. Yeah. Well, I turned 21 so I could sit at the bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's so funny that legally you can work here. Mm -hmm but you can't have a vodka and coke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's one left for you, Stacey. Okay. <laughs> Let me there's see. There's your magnum. Okay, ready? Chad, get ready for the time of your life. Kind of hold that and then roll. There you go. Oh, sorry, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be giving me a tip, would he? <laughs> there he is. What a guy. Perfect. Um, so are you girls relatively new? I started last month. Oh, yeah. so very new. I worked independently before this. And how was that? Sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. Yeah, dangerous. You're meeting strangers at a hotel. You don't know what you're going to walk into. You don't know if he's going to have a weapon. You don't know if he's... So this is sort of a welcome change for you. Yeah. And I make yeah. a lot more money, so... <laughs> <laughs> you make a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah. It can tip into the thousands. So unfortunately, we can't discuss that because all these ladies are independent contractors. They set all their mm -hmm. prices themselves. Oh, I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. thought there would be like a, a menu. No, no, everybody's independent. And so that's yeah. not something we can discuss on camera. I'd love to know what the women can earn here, but all price negotiations are confined to monitored rooms and 50% of all earnings go to the brothel. So what happens if courtesans aren't generating the business the madams expect? And Madam Jennifer, if somebody's not bringing the money in, do you have to let them go? Because there's only 28 rooms. Right. If they don't book for three days, we're going to... Well, one day if they don't book, you know, we're both checking in on them because if they're not here to work hard and be a good business partner, then there's a lot of other legal houses in the area they can work at. Has that happened recently? I have somebody right now that I'm just... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't... It, it, not very often. Not very often. This is, after all, a business. I'm intrigued as to how young women like Asia cope with that pressure. So you've worked here for a couple of months? Yeah, for a couple of months now. And, I mean, how are you finding it? Um, I like it. They take really good care of me. What do your folks make of what you do for a living? Um, they're glad that I'm somewhere safe and that I'm not on the street. Came from dancing in a club, so they didn't even really like that because I still had to drive home. They like the security, I suppose, yeah. that this place offers. What was your first party like? My first party was actually with a couple. So try to make it seem like I wasn't super new at it, but I was telling them that I've never 
actually had sex with the girl before. Right. Mm -hmm. Is it is it nerve wracking? Are you apprehensive? Are you thinking, am I doing this right? If you've um, never been with a woman before. So when I was in there, I was telling them that I was nervous and that I didn't know what to do, and they said that they couldn't tell. Yeah, they said I kept them very feeling very young and full of life. Yeah. Um. So this is your room. Um, I know you're still on the clock, so I don't want to um, push my luck. We'll get to hang out later, I'm sure. Yes. When I look at Asia, I do think, well, she just feels so young to me, but she, she's 21, she's an adult. I don't know loads of 21-year-olds who have spent their birthdays in a bottle in Nevada. my second night at Nevada's oldest legal brothel, and I'm finally getting to leave the premises. The last time, Dossie, you were in this, we went to the rodeo, all of us, huh? The rodeo, the cowboys, they love us. <laughs> Organised by the madams, the all-expenses-paid night away from the brothel is a reward for the season's top earners. Between heels and a tight skirt, I'm in trouble. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we're about to take over this restaurant. <laughs> Cheers to Mustang! Yes! Oh, thank you, girl. With everyone in high spirits, now might be the ideal time to broach the subject of money again. Um, so, Jennifer, how much do you think the girls have made over the last quarter? Oh, probably 1.5. 1.5 million? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Some of these ladies like 100,000 a month. Your best year? How much have you made? 14. On <laughs> a good year, yeah. yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Now we're just going to eat and drink and enjoy. Be merry. And yeah, uh huh. It's nice to get out. And when you come out, you know, outside of the ranch, do you ever kind of bump into clients and how do you deal with that? Oh, you don't acknowledge. Is there anyone in here this evening? No. Yeah, we always have our security. Mm -hmm. Is there a watcher? Yeah, we've got security with us. Yes. Why is that important? So if these ladies need to go to the restroom, security is going to shadow them just to keep them safe and make sure they're not being approached. A lot of peace of mind, yeah, for sure. I know you, you hold zero shame in terms mm -hmm. of what you do for a living. But to other people who are perhaps a bit more conservative, do you ever sort of hear them sort of whispering or...? Oh, yeah. And how, how does that we make you feel? Them out. Come out. We'll buy you lunch and take yeah. a tour. Mom. Every outing we go to, somebody we pass our business card to and say something to. Don't judge anybody if you haven't been out there, if you haven't experienced it. You shouldn't be judging our way of life at all. Do you... I mean, do you all feel like a, a big gang? So to have a, a group of... of wonderful ladies that, that get what you're going through and that gets you. It's like, girl, I've been I've been there. And they get it. And you don't feel as, like, alone in it, I guess. And have you got mates that are outside of this line of work that just don't understand why you do what you do? Yeah, it's hard. Like, I have a best friend from fourth grade that I just never told. Really? Yeah, it's just, I, I'm afraid of losing that friendship. It can be very isolating. Yeah. Isolating. Isolating, sure. I mean, what the girls illustrate is how important it is to have like-minded women, sisters, I suppose, because it can feel really isolating and it can feel really lonely at times and people do judge what these girls do for a living. I'm up early. And it sounds like some are still partying. Someone's having a fantastic time. <laughs> My stay at the Mustang Ranch so far revealed the importance of sisterhood at the brothel, and with two former courtesans in charge playing a crucial role. Oh, this is so exciting. Are you going to put these on? On Asia's door. And this is extra special because it's her 21st birthday. Right. And we got her a beautiful sapphire ring. Beautiful. She is going to be so made up with this. <laughs> with birthday girl Asia turning 21 today, she can now take a seat at the bar for the first time. I'm curious to hear how the madams support more vulnerable, younger women. 
So I, I get the sense that for a lot of the girls, you are maternal figures. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's more Sorry. than just a working relationship. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, is there a difference between being a madam and being a parent? I don't think there is a whole lot of difference mm -hmm. at all. Because you're, even your child, you're going to teach about being safe and about money and finance. And you're doing the same thing here. You want your kids to succeed, we want these ladies to succeed too. We teach them how to be independent, open their own checking accounts, get their own phones. Pay their taxes. Pay their taxes. <laughs> when this house makes money, they're putting it right back into this house. They're hiring more security guards. We're going through training. They're hiring yeah. more chefs. So it's always coming back to them to benefit these ladies and what they need and want. And that you don't need a man or yeah, a manager no, or a pimp no. or... Oh, Lord have mercy. No way. No. Yeah, and I think we lead by example, too. Yes, we do. Yeah, we've, we've had our own issues with, you know, going down that avenue. So you, know, you do, you go as far as you possibly can to help them. Have you been treated badly yourselves in the past? Is that why you're so passionate about... It's part of it, I yeah. think. I don't want to talk about that. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. No, that's no. fair. This industry changed my life. It, it gave me an opportunity that was. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, endless. You know, it's good. So when we have the opportunity to change lives, it's, it's emotional. Yeah. It is. I get the impression that Tara and Jennifer, they've been around the block. And I think for them it's about feeling empowered and like they're in control. Don't you dare cry. Don't you dare cry. We know so many people are ready to push the boundaries when it comes to sex workers. So the fact that they genuinely care about their girls is welcomed. It's your birthstone too, Sapphire. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That was cute because you can see your reflection in the pool too. After their 12 hour shifts, the women are confined to the communal areas for socialising. Do you need like a group shot? We would love that. Yes. Thanks. I've got I a great know. eye. I've got you. <laughs> Will I go here? Yeah, on like the opposite side, that'd be cool. In the side. Yeah. And for some, having an online presence is key to winning more business. You look great in these. <laughs> Fab. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> There's got to be one here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, total pleasure. <laughs> so, do you make more here than you would on those kinds of platforms? I personally make more money here than any other. It just is a really good avenue to find clients. Like, I get a lot of people on Instagram, and then like Dase does with her TikTok. And I have a Twitter too. Big on Twitter, don't even. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> of all my husband. I can't take credit for that. You're married. Yes, yeah. How how long have you been married? For nine years now. A long time. We were <laughs> married and then had a baby within a year of that. Have you got kids? <laughs> yeah, I have a son. Yeah. Have you? How old is he? Seven. That must be so hard to be away from him when you're at the ranch. It's hard on all, all of us because, like, the workload then falls on my husband. But so he's super open-minded. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have survived in this industry if I didn't have a partner who was, like, by my side through it, you know? What's your situation? I'm divorced <laughs> and now I'm 100% ready to never do that again. <laughs> Did he find it difficult to accept? Um, no, he was kind of for it, but he felt like he had, like, room to be disloyal in ways. And Missy, you're nodding along. What's, what's your situation? I'm kind of recently single. Um, he just didn't want to be involved, um, which is really hurtful because it felt wrong. It felt really shameful, like I was hiding, and I didn't like that.
I think it takes a certain type of man, doesn't it? It takes someone who's emotionally mature, for sure. Right. It clearly can be difficult for some to balance a personal life with being a courtesan. But I'm yet to find out if the sacrifices are worth it. Do you want a drink? Oh, I'm OK. Thank really? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So, Scarlett, what are your plans for today? So we actually made a plan for my husband to fly out to Reno, and then we can just enjoy some time together. It's a big day! It is, yeah. On rare occasions, the ladies are allowed to leave the brothel during their stay, if accompanied by security. Do you think I can come along? Is that really annoying? Oh, no. <laughs> You're more than welcome to. I'd love for you to meet him. I won't keep him too long, but I would just love to hear from his perspective. Hey, Madam Hi. Jennifer! Hi. Uh, your guest is in the park. Cool, okay, thank you so much. But before then, a client has requested Scarlett's services. Another girl just came out of her room with a client and he went, was it good? Scarlett's client, he was an older guy, like, all grey. He worked in tech. Yeah, I mean, people obviously on the TV, how is her husband? down with this like is he is he really okay with this um, which I, I can ask him I'm gonna meet him after the party she's gonna finish the party get ready and we're gonna go pick him up it's my last day at Nevada's female run legal brothel and I'm hoping to discover how Scarlett juggles being a courtesan, a wife and a mother to her young son. I'm good. Scarlett has just finished with her client and we're being chaperoned to meet her husband, Anthony, for lunch. How was your party? We had a really amazing time, so much so he tipped me. Yeah, it's your honey boys. <laughs> Job well done. <laughs> Handsomely tipped. Yeah. Um, and we are now en route to go and see your husband. I can't wait to see him. I feel like it's been ages. Some people will find it so unusual that you've just had a party with a guy and half an hour later you're going to go and see your husband. What, yeah. what would you say to them? I am incredibly like, good at separating business and home. So it's two completely different worlds and I'm really good at balancing both of those. And were you with your husband before you became a courtesan? I was, yeah. Yeah, we were just getting by. We were both servers at restaurants, waiting tables. Finally one day sat him down and I'm like, we need to make a plan. Do you want to get somewhere in life? And he was like, yeah, but I don't know, I don't know what we can do or how we can save up the money to invest into what what we want to do, which is real estate. So I, I popped it on him and um, we both have goals and he understands that, that we want a future. And so he he gave me the okay and we went and found brothels together. Incredible, really. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> what, so he's watching your son whilst you're at work? Right. They just tell him, yeah, I'm a really hard worker. Mom made really good money today. I did really good. And I want him to know that I'm not uh, away for nothing. It's like, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's a really big sacrifice. I'm oh, sorry. No, don't be daft. It's your boy. It's your yeah, baby. I'm sorry, Susie. No, please don't say sorry. I totally, like, I totally understand. You yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. thank I, you. I totally get it. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. It's the hardest job I've ever done. And so that's what drives me. That's why I just want the best life for him. Oh, Scarlett. The impact this line of work can have on women like Scarlett is clear. <laughs> it's good to see you. Oh, my God. It's so good to see you. Nice to meet you. Likewise, really nice to meet you. I'm Stacey. Nice. Shadowed by brothel security, I'm interested to hear how Anthony deals with their family's current setup. So, so lovely to meet you, Anthony. You too. I was just curious to hear from you, you know, how this all came about. How difficult or easy was it for you to accept initially? I, I wasn't all okay with it at first. Which is completely understandable. What were your reservations? I think it was just her having sex with other people, you know, and like, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm all right with that. I think it was about a year later, you know, I, we were really just like struggling and stuff. And 
She's, she, I think, brought it up to me again, and I finally accepted, you know? I think this could change our life in a good way. Yeah, from there, from there on out, I just kind of kept an open book to the whole thing, you know, and just, she tells me everything, you know, and so, and I'm, I'm there for her with anything she needs. Anthony, so many men will just not be able to comprehend or understand how you can be this open-minded and this relaxed about what your wife does for a living. Yeah, I, I'm sure people think I'm probably crazy <laughs> for, <laughs> for allowing this, but and she, come, like, she comes home to me at the end of the day. Just don't fall in love. <laughs> That's guess, fair enough. There, there you go, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I mean... I guess that was our, our, the one thing. I was like, I hope this, this industry doesn't ruin our relationships, like if you fell in love with someone else. I yes. promised him, we made a promise to each other, yeah, that it would never affect our relationship, that it would never get in between us. We both are making major sacrifices, but it's not a forever thing, and it's our future. How much longer do you think you'll have to work at the ranch? Um, probably a year and a half. Well, she tells me when she books, and so, how and how much, so I can keep track of her. No, we I, have a goal that we like to meet. So over the course of three weeks, I try to make this certain certain number I try to hit, yeah. So. Feel the pop. Right, exactly, yeah. so he helps me. Like, okay, we can do this, he's like my little... You're my manager. <laughs> he's my manager, that's what yeah. he's there. Exactly. Yeah. It's a true partnership, this. Like, oh, it's yeah, a joint definitely. effort. Yeah. yeah, we're definitely partners. It's what's gonna take us and let us accomplish our goals that we have in life. I'm grateful that she's been able to get into this industry. Anthony is probably one of the most laid-back men I've actually ever come across. And, you know, people will sort of come to their own conclusions in terms of how he should feel. But what we have established very clearly is sex is not personal for everyone. Some people are able to detach feelings from sex. For some people, sex is purely transactional. Scala, as with many of the other courtesans at Mustang, has a long-term plan to leave the brothel and sex work altogether. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you got me in a strange possession, Stacey. <laughs> normally, people would have to pay a lot of money to see you like that. I think so. <laughs> as the brothel's most experienced sex worker, I want to ask Erica what toll her job has on her home life. Um, has it been tricky having personal relationships because of what you do for a living? It, it can be. And I would I'd have to say in a word, yes. And the reason being that even though someone can be like totally like supportive, I have found that the more someone in my personal life realizes they have feelings for me deeper, that the less they, that they want me to be somewhere else. And so you came into this when you were nearly 50. Does that help because you're more assured, you know who you are? Oh, for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's like a fantasy land when you're here. It's like making you know, dreams come true. It's tuning into what the other person wants and mm -hmm. those kind of things. Those are really the skills that really kind of define being successful. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that I would personally have had the maturity to do all that at a younger age. Plus, you're dealing with, with men that you don't know. I mean, that could be scary when you're young and you don't really know what to expect and how experienced sexually are you? Especially if you're dealing with a 50-year-old man. Exactly. Like, if right. I found them just really unattractive. You have to get up to speed to deliver that. I'm not choosing the person. I'm not, like, in love with the person. Mm. So it's, I have to remember what all those feelings feel like, like an actress does. Mm. I hear people say sometimes, oh, I can tell, oh, that was like so real and it's like she never, she never fakes anything or whatever, but I hate to tell you, it's sometimes oh, I'm just that good. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Even here, like not every day you're like, oh, gee whiz, I gotta go have sex again. <laughs> like, whatever, again? You know, again? Like, <laughs> Erica, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. I really will. Well, well, this is so funny. I can afford oh, you, but <laughs> come and visit. <laughs> Before I go, I want to check in with the brothel's youngest resident, 21-year-old Asia. Hi, Asia. I just wanted to come and say goodbye. I'm off. Goodbye. I know. I can't believe it. It's been so quick. Aww. 
How was last night for you? It was good. I got really busy. Oh, you got busy? Yeah. Oh, well done. And what are your plans? What are you doing over the next couple of weeks? Um, I'm taking a long time off. So oh, you are? I won't be back for... For the foreseeable? Uh, for like a couple of months. I'm ready to go home. Mm. Ready to sleep in my bed. <laughs> What's the hardest part about being here, do you reckon? I'm mm, doing it every day. Burns you out and drains you. Takes a strong person. Yeah, not for everyone. Right. Some people could go longer, some people can't go as long. Some people go crazy. <laughs> but, yeah. You feeling okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, I feel good. Okay. All right, Angel. Take care. Look after yourself, yeah? Bye, sweetheart. See you later. Whether it's her age or lack of experience, Asia seems to be struggling with the demands of her new job. Want to know how common this is? Madam Jennifer, do you think the younger girls find it harder at the start? Because Asia feels very young to me and very she's inexperienced. Very mm -hmm. She does. From when she arrived to where she's at right now, it's, yeah, and then in a couple more years, it's even, it'll be better. Okay. Yeah. And what was it like for you? When you were young, you were in your 20s. Paint the picture. Yes. I've got eight siblings. And so watching like my sisters and my brothers and their drug habits and prison, I knew that I didn't want to be poor, but I wasn't going to steal, you know? So yeah, so I came to work. So you've had to work illegally in the past. Did you find yourself in compromising situations? Very uncomfortable situations that could have been compromising. Yeah, it is so dangerous. Yeah. And you don't have security and you don't have help and you don't have your support staff. And it's next to impossible to change lives safely on the streets. It's, yeah. But when they come in here and they're able to go from the illegal to the legal and... It's a game changer. It's a game changer. It is a game changer. It would be great if we could recreate this around the globe, or yeah, the states at least. Because it's only legal in Nevada. Mm-hmm, yeah. Because obviously nobody else uses prostitutes anywhere right. else. Right, nowhere, no, uh-uh, just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, the yeah. demand is there, uh -huh. it's, yeah. I think it's true to say that if you're going to be a sex worker, this is the place you want to be. But it's not for everyone. It's easy to sort of romanticise it and see how much money they make. But I do think it's quite draining and I do think it's quite taxing. You have to be able to completely detach feelings from sex, which feels foreign to a lot of us. I'll miss these big mirrors. Get some for the house. Oh, what are you doing carrying that bag? Big Joe will be proud of me. <laughs> Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it was such a pleasure. There are always going to be sex workers. There always have been, there always will be. Take care and stay in touch. Ciao. So why not allow them to operate in a safe working environment. For me, it's just such a no-brainer. Yeah. Bye. And that's why I've really enjoyed spending time here.